Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing home decor or DIY. Uh, I have a few projects that I'm doing in one video. I'm trying that out because usually I just have one project per video. So I'm going to be trying out a new way. Sometimes I'll be doing one project a video, depends on what I'm doing. And then other times I will be doing several projects in one video. Let's <laughs> see if I get this right. <laughs> I love being creative and trying new things in my journey through life. Writing best practices, tips and tricks. Sharing updates on my own writing and books with different tutorials sprinkled in between. I enjoy sharing my knowledge. There's music covers and original pieces written and composed by me. Handmade jewellery reveals. Sewing videos. Other crafts. Poetry reading. Book reviews. And many, many more. Come and join me on this journey and let's have fun together. So you will see in each of the uh, projects, I will tell you beforehand what I'm using in that project and then I will show you what I do. With this home decor, I'm going to be using this blue uh, Rust-Oleum lacquer paint it is, or spray paint. It is, it's got the high luster coating. Uh, I see it's in the color navy, black and navy. And then I bought these glasses from Pep Home. Trust me, if you're a South African, Pep Home is like one of the best places to buy home decor because it's nice and cheap and it's not gonna make you cry your eyes out because of the cost. And if something breaks, also, you're not gonna cry your eyes out. And if you're one of those people that like to change things um, in your house to match the seasons, it's not also gonna it's also not gonna break the bank as well so for these four glasses I paid 36 Rand 99 and that's for the legs the glasses are for the legs and then I also got this from Pep Home and it is a metal tray this one was 26 Rand 99 this is what I'm going to be spraying with the clear lacquer because I don't want it to have leaves on I'm going to spray it on both sides and then I'm going to be attaching these which I will show you when I do it so let's get the price off half rounds that I want to glue onto the handles of the tray so I have put them onto painters tape so that they don't move around when I spray them with the spray paint I'm going to spray them the same color as the tray all right so they are on I will take off the excess or when I'm done um, I have to tell you it was not easy uh, when you mix these two glues together they don't really like it too much <laughs> now I need to glue these glasses on as the legs so now this glue is just gonna have to put up with it really Now I just want to let it dry completely because when you put these two glues together like I said they don't like each other it seems so um, the glue gun the glue stick glue doesn't dry as quickly as what it should so if you move it at all it actually comes loose and because this is metal this it um, it can move and then it's going to loosen the glass that's underneath it. So I'm going to let it stand and dry and then take off all the excess glue. Just a tip that I can tell you which something I did wrong was 
I put these on first, uh, I wouldn't do that. I would put the glass on first because the problem is as I had them upside down and I was moving it around, it came off and then I had to now redo it. So, and also this glue, it gets everywhere, this one, and it's like sticky and then it, everything sticks to my fingers as well. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit frustrating, but really persevere. So I'll be back when it's dry. Right, these are now dry as far as I can see, except for probably the other, you know, that, this glue is probably still wet in there because <laughs> I can feel it when I touch. But it's relatively dry. The glue gun glue is dry. So what I've done is I've put painter's tape to protect the bottom of the glasses. And I'm going to go and spray paint this so that you don't see this glue gun glue. Uh, also because I see some somewhere it got scratched. Let me just focus. So now I'm going to just, just cover it because you know me. I want it to look perfect. And if it doesn't, I will fiddle until it does. <laughs> <laughs> which is probably wrong but anyway I had my mom had these uh, had a tree that they cut down so I asked them to cut pieces um, for me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna sand it because it's been standing with dust you know gathering dust and then I want to seal it with this um, Everwood water-based oil exterior um, grip seal and it's clear because I don't want to give it a color, I'd like it to stay natural, but I'm going to do it all over. And then I also want to glue on these wooden balls at the bottom. I think I'm only going to do three because of the shape. So I'm going to spray paint them first and I'm spray painting them the same blue of this one. So I need to just sand it down and then I'll do that. <laughs> varnish it because if I glue this on after I varnish it it's not gonna stick. Right so I'm gonna do what I usually do when I want to stick something permanently and I want to make sure it's permanent is I'm going to mix this Gorilla Glue with my glue gun glue and the glue gun glue, glue, <laughs> glue is PVC, PVC and cable glue. All right, now I can varnish it. I'm going to start to the bottom. With this project I've got two of these large stove covers which I, <laughs> I actually couldn't find and I actually when I was cleaning out my kitchen the one day I found it I'm just gonna clean them because I see they're dirty but then when I'm done I'm going to be spray painting the one with the blue or the navy lacquer and I'm gonna be spray painting the other one with a metallic finish also Rust-Oleum that's got the rose gold color or they call it bright copper 
bright coat copper but it looks rose gold uh, because I'm going to be using them in two different places but before I do that I'm going to be gluing them gluing with a glue gun and some glue um, which I will show you but the glue that I'm going to be using is this and then the glue gun is the one that I usually use with the PVC glue in it and I'm going to be gluing these big wooden beads onto the bottom of it which I will be doing four of them on each side like that for the I'm going to be doing that for the one okay yeah, so I see it didn't push record when I pushed record so <laughs> it's very irritating I glued them on I used this glue and then my glue gun and I just need to wait now for the glue to dry so that I can spray paint it This is the finished product without being staged. So I changed my mind. I'm not going to use these for this project. I'm going to use them. There's another project that I want to use them in. So I'm just going to move them that side. But I've got these top glasses out that we don't use. And I am going to glue these onto the bottom so that they can stand up. It can stand up. I'm still a bit debating whether I want to spray paint it. Or if I want to put stuff in there before I glue it on like beads or something. I decided I'm going to mix these three colors into the glass. And see how it comes out. I think it should be nice. So they look very nice actually. And that means I'm not going to spray paint these, so I'm not going to glue them on before I've spray painted this. So I need to spray paint this first and then I can glue it on. This one has been painted. And what I did was I marked with a pencil where I want to put the know if you can see it where I want to put the little glass legs uh, which I'm going to do with a glue gun and this glue the glue gun is let me see if I've got to tell you it's PVC and cable um, I actually want to get also the Gorilla glue gun glue sticks they just are quite pricey uh, but they work very well and then because then I won't have to use this glue and the gorilla and the glue sticks because then it will be strong enough because the problem with this glue is that they don't like each other <laughs> so it doesn't dry as fast and also you know the glue gun doesn't dry as fast and then also it's it's sticky everywhere so I actually have to have like a wet wipe ready which I think I need to do Protect the glass when I spray paint the glue that is showing too much so I spray painted it with the same rose gold as the bottom 
and the painted tape is just going to protect the glass from it going everywhere else. So I've got these plates that I made. Um, I've got my own one that I've got in my kitchen uh, that I've got like on a plate stand. And then I made these ones for my mom. The reason I made them is because we didn't like, because <laughs> of lobster plates, you know, this, and we didn't like it. But now um, with my mom, I think she was actually using them and then they kept washing it. So, you know, but yeah. You can see it's actually dirty I'm going to try and get that off as well and I'm going to try and get the excess paint off with these and then when I've done that because I've, I've got some wet wipes to clean it and a tissue to dry it and then I'm going to put painters tape around here just to protect the, um, the grout and the tiles and then I'm going to spray paint it with black in the kitchen is like a light blue color I think it's the same as this color but I decided I'll put that one in the middle and then these two I'm going to just spray back black and put on the, the outside I'm going to hang them I would like to hang them up on the wall three of them because it gives a boho feel to it so that's what I'm aiming for so I'm first going to clean it because my fingers are sticking to the inside up just a little bit higher than what it is at the moment these ones I also need to spray paint I'm also going to do it with the blue color the navy blue So I have sanded it. I haven't done it perfectly because like I, I like the natural thing. 
So I'm going to use this side to glue these down on. What I'm going to do is that what I usually do, I use Gorilla, uh, Gorilla Glue and my glue gun which has got PVC glue in it. So let me just take these off here. Okay, so it's dry now, I just need to varnish it. So that was the home decor video. I hope that you got a few ideas of your own and that it inspired you to try a few things of your own. A lot of the things I got, but a lot of them I already had in my house. And that's always a nice thing if you can find things that you can use in your house and just like repurpose them to be something else. And then also if you get tired of some like tired of something, you can also just repurpose it to something else, which is also <laughs> if you liked the video and it was helpful if you can please click the thumbs up to show that you liked it and if you haven't subscribed already if you can please do so and click the subscription block below it shows support for my channel which i really do appreciate and it will help me reach my goal of a thousand followers or subscribers this year and if you click the little bell notification it will let you know when i've uploaded a video so that you don't miss if you look in the description block below, you will also find all of my social media, including my blog, which is where you'll find more content from me. And if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash it's also a place where you can find more content from me. And it's also the best place for you to support what I do on this channel and what I do on my blog. If you do not want to become a patron, but you'd still like to support me in some way, in some way then you can just also blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You can also go to the description block below and you will find uh, my email address there and I'll, you can just email me and I will let you know of a different um, payment method. I was looking for that. my husband's messages. Was he <laughs> putting me off? <laughs> I hope that you have a lovely day further. Keep your crystal on, your sparkle strong and enjoy your moments. Goodbye.